So, I, yeah, I had a meeting yesterday. I had two meetings yesterday. One with a, um, I was consulting for a venture capital group um, who is, um, you know, they, they're investing in a, in a global digital MES system, right? Uh, something to go to market with. The other thing was I had a meeting with uh, another, uh, it was like an IT consulting firm, right? And we're, we're basically, one of the questions that they had asked me was, you know, um, you know, what, what are common topics that come up when you are talking with end users about digital transformation in Industry 4.0, right? Like, you know, why, why does Industry 4.0 matter for organizations? Why should they digitally transform? You know, what are the topics that come up? And I said, you know, uh, uh, that's actually a great question. Here's a really good one to keep at the forefront of your mind, and that is digital strategy. So when I was talking to this IT consulting firm, I'd ask them, you know, when you're consulting with your clients, you know, are you constantly centering the conversations, the questions you're asking, the solutions you're proposing around their organization's digital strategy? And same thing with this VC group. When I was asking them, well, what clients are you going to be targeting for this digital MES system? What will, if you were going to say, hey, we are looking for the client that has this specific digital strategy, what, how would you define that specific digital strategy? And they didn't have an answer. The, the IT consulting firm said, listen, we, we have conversations about digital strategy. We talk about digital strategy, but what we don't do is insist the client have a digital strategy before we break ground on any project. Okay. Which got me thinking, we need to have we need to have a discussion with the audience about digital strategy. So kind of the, the question that I want to ask, you know, the, the, the general community is this. What is your company's digital strategy? What is that digital what is the digital strategy? And so that digital strategy generally you want to distill it down into a, a three sentence statement, right? Sentence number one is from a 10,000 foot view, we, um, our digital strategy is X, okay? Uh, sentence number two is, wants to talk a little bit about your architecture. So we, we use this type of protocol or this type of data collection philosophy, whatever. And then number three is, wants to be the most specific sentence. Third, third sentence wants to be the most specific specific sentence in your digital strategy, which is what your long-term goal is for your digital strategy, for what are you trying to work towards, okay? And that digital strategy should be a three-sentence statement that every employee in your organization can define, okay? So you know, a lot of people ask us, what is our digital strategy? That, that is for my companies. And I never recite the actual sentence, you know, because it's, it's internal for our organization, yeah, I've talked to my board of directors many times about sharing this publicly. You know, hey, here is our three-sentence digital strategy. But each time I have the conversation, you know, the, the executive leadership says, hey, listen, you share enough as it is. We don't want to share that piece. What you can do is share sentence one and, and two, uh, but not sentence three. Sentence three is really your, your, it's really the intellectual property part. It's like what differentiates you as an organization from other companies, okay? But most important part of your digital strategy is why, the digital strategy should clearly articulate to people why being digital matters, why being a data company matters, right? It's amazing to me how many people embark on digital transformation initiatives and have no strategy at all. Like they don't have a target they're working towards. What they'll have is a list of use cases you know, we want to we want to reduce downtime. We want to um, we want to increase operational efficiency. We want to lower change over times. We want to uh, you know reduce duplication of effort. Um, you know, upstream in the supply chain, right? But there's no overarching message about a digital strategy. What you're trying to achieve. So our digital strategy. I'm going to speak about this. From a from a high level, so then I'll get in trouble. Okay, with our with my board is this: we have a single source of truth for all data and information in our organization. 
all data and information. One single source of truth for every data transition, for every KPI. One source of truth. To the point, okay, to the point. And that that single source of truth is our unified namespace and the sphere of nodes immediately wrapped around our UNS, okay? That single source of truth contains things like this. Um, so our, you know, IntelliC integration, for example, owns uh, one, two, uh, like four vehicles, okay? There is, in the unified namespace, you can navigate in our UNS to look at those four vehicle assets that we own. Um, ma manufacturer, VIN number, year, who we purchased it from, um, who it's financed through, who the insurance is through, it literally everything in one location, okay? It, just on the vehicles. You could, if you move over one level in our unified namespace, so if you move over one level, you will see the same thing as it relates to property assets, okay? If you move over another level for our organization, you are gonna see the same thing as it relates to depreciating assets in our organization. So not uh, depreciating non-capital assets, okay? Then if you move into the human resource section of our unified namespace, there's one source of truth for not just the static parameters and definitions of the people who work in our organization and what their roles are, but also what they're doing at this exact moment. What was the last project that they they build an hour to um, what was the last entry time entry all in one place one back end I'm talking about a single back end many front ends right one single source of truth our digital strategy is built around that concept so if you look at our three sentence digital strategy it's a built it's built around that concept and so the question I have for you as an organization, you or your organization, what is your digital strategy? And all the time, money, and effort you are putting into digitally transforming your organization, using technology to do more with less, to um, you know, digitize paper into um, you know, digital uh, um, paperwork or, e or travelers. What digital, what strategy are you working toward? You know, what is the purpose? It's amazing to me. I got to be honest with you. It, it, it really is amazing to me. You know, this is why I'm so hard on companies like Deloitte and McKinsey and, you know, the Gartner Magic Quadrant and, you know, Rockwell and, um, um, uh, you know, vendor systems integrators. So integrators who uh, are really integrators for specific OEMs. That's really what they are, even though they may not broadcast it. I'm so hard on them because all none of them are focused on helping organizations with their digital strategy. And the reason why is because the digital strategy is the thing it's the it's the foundation upon which all your key decisions are made about which use cases to implement in digital transformation, right? If you don't have a digital strategy, then all you're doing is looking for the next project. Whether or not that project, project A, is working in concert towards the same goals as projects B, C, D, and E. Okay? Digital strategy, digital strategy, digital strategy. When I do keynote addresses, when I'm consulting for VC firms or I'm consulting with other integrators, our conversations start out with values and mission to see if we have synergy and then they immediately move into digital strategy. When I, when I do a keynote address, my call to action is nearly always, when you leave this keynote, hopefully I have convinced you this is something you need to do. You need to go back to your employer, you need to go back to your boss, you need to find the first C-level you have that you run into in your organization, and you need to ask them, what is our digital strategy? And if they can't give you one in three sentences or less, then you tell them, we don't have one. That is literally my call to action. Define the digital strategy, right? And I, in many previous videos, I've talked about, um, you know, Amazon's digital strategy many times, Tesla's digital strategy many times. 
what's crazy is everyone's trying to be like Amazon and Tesla, and yet they're not even starting with the same, you know, they're not taking the same first step, which is defining what the digital strategy is. All right, anyway, um, if this video was helpful to you, I, you know, I've, I've got to get more serious about asking people to subscribe uh, and like the video and comment down below. It really helps with the, the uh, YouTube's algorithm, even if you just do a quick comment, um, even if you don't really say anything meaningful. Um, I, I think more than half the people who watch our videos don't subscribe to the channel. Uh, it would really help if, you, if you're not subscribed, if you go ahead and click subscribe. I don't care if you ring the bell or not. It doesn't matter any of that stuff. But I do care if you subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Zach would, uh, will get off my back. And, uh, but it also helps us get our message out to other people. So anyway, with that, I hope you have a great day. hope you enjoyed the video. Share it with somebody who might like it, and I'll see you next time.